What is up you guys, it is me, Wyatt the Scarecrow, the Halloween Hunter here, and today I am back again with another video. Now, real quick before I actually start this whole topic of this video, I just want to say I am sorry. And if you guys are wondering why I'm apologizing, and that is because of my lack of uploading. Now, as you see, my school stuff is almost over with, like I end school like May 26th or May 27th. So like 28, 27 days from now, uh, as the time I'm filming this, it's April 19th. And I'm sorry for not really much like getting on the Spirit Halloween news. Like, I'm sorry about that. Like, I'm sorry that I'm running late on everything. But, and that is because of school. And I have after school stuff that I actually do. So like after school, I stay at school with other kids and I have track, like I do shot and disc. Now it's a sport, I guess you could say, like like track is kind of a sport, I guess you could say, I don't know. I honestly don't even know, but um, I have that and usually like, before I even joined track, I usually would just like come home from the bus, I would walk to my house, I'll go inside, and I'll hop on YouTube to see if there's any like videos I can make about like any like spirit stuff, Home Depot. But since I have track, I do like a lot, like I throw stuff, I like, I run like laps and everything. I do a lot of like stretches and it like tires me out. Like it gets me exhausted and I never really end up having the habit of making a video after all that because I just want to chill and I want to relax. But this time I'm trying to up my game a little bit. My day was like really rough, but making videos about like my favorite time of the year, Halloween, makes me happy and excited. Now I am mostly excited right now because of what I am hearing. Now real quick, I just wanna give a big shout out to Elizabeth Pumpkin. Yes, you heard me right, Elizabeth Pumpkin. I just wanna say um, thank you and I would um, suggest go subscribing to her. I'll link you down in, just in the description. But I just wanna say thank you Eliz Elizabeth pumpkin for giving us updates because every day I would go on YouTube and I would look up Spirit Halloween 2023 and the first video I would see pop up is from Elizabeth Pumpkin because she is like every day posting about updates and it's really helpful so I can actually know like what's going on so I can cover some stuff finally but yeah I just want to say thank you shout out to her um, and she, she, she's like, uh, every day she like gives updates about everything Halloween. So yeah, um, shout out to you and I hope you're going to flagship cause I, I would really like to meet you. So I really hope I can meet you at flagship if you are going, um, it would be pretty cool if she will, but yeah, shout out to her. But anyways, I am getting this stuff from her and I'm on my phone right now. I'm filming with my tablet and I'm looking at her videos. I'm looking at the stuff she posted saying that it might be confirmed of a Jack the Reaper animatronic. Now she was looking at the picture of the Jack the Reaper costume that got leaked like a month ago, I believe, from now. Um, she actually thought that that was the animatronic. I mean, the picture was actually going around like when it first got leaked, like when stuff was getting leaked, when the costume got leaked, there was stuff going around saying that, oh, this is the animatronic of Jack the Reaper. Like when I first heard about this, I actually thought it was the animatronic, but no, it's just the costume. Um, she did mention that she did think it was the costume, but there were comments saying that it's just a costume. But um, we could be getting a Jack the Reaper animatronic because of this little thing that got um, wrote, like posted or um, published. Um, I don't know who it's from, but it is saying, um, sorry about that. It says that there is a confirmed Jack the Reaper animatronic. And let me read this out. It says, Spirit Halloween is making an animatronic of their own mascot, Jack the Reaper. This is a limited quality item that is being specially made for the 40th anniversary and will be displayed on the themes. He will be approximately six foot five, so six foot five feet tall, with an amber LED eye, moving head and a torso and a creepy laugh track. A creepy laugh track. This gets me excited. Now that we can actually kind of make out what Jack the Reaper's actual voice is. Now with this animatronic, we can actually learn a, a lot more about Jack the Reaper. Since they're making an animatronic of him this year, I do have high hopes they're making an animatronic of this year of Jack the Reaper. It'll be pretty cool because for the 40th anniversary last year in November, they released something for Black Friday and that was the Jack the Reaper statue, which I do own as well that I got for Christmas. Now, 
I could definitely see a Jack the Reaper costume because I heard that there is a Spirit Halloween flag getting released as well. Just all I know is that there's going to be a bunch of Jack the Reaper merchandise and I do definitely see a Jack the Reaper happening. But when it mentions limited quality, I really don't understand. Like some people understand like what it means by limited quality, but I really don't like, is this thing like going to be like well made? Like is the welds going to be good? I don't know, but it says limited, like, you know, like at fast food places, like they have have a limited time meal or something that's only there for like a while so if they made a limited quality would this mean that th they won't have that much of like these jack the reaper animatronics in stock i mean if that's what it is then that sucks i mean i don't know it said limited quality so that's all i'm just like trying to point out so maybe this thing might not make it to a lot of stores but if they do make a jack the reaper animatronic i have my fingers crossed i hope this animatronic makes it to my local stores if they have them because I might just end up picking them up this year but the thing is if they did make a Jack the Reaper animatronic if he's six foot five then maybe he'll be priced so ridiculously like ridiculously sorry with like uh, probably like $250 or maybe $300 like the stupid pricing that they're doing like I don't know nozzles the clown was six foot tall and they sold him for three hundred and fifty dollars just a six foot animatronic so let's actually hope let's keep our fingers crossed and let's hope that this jack the reaper animatronic will be really good quality because it says limited quality so that sounds good to me so i'm praying that this thing would be good which i mean i know it's good because it's spirit halloween we're talking about now moving on how i think that we are close to getting a teaser from spirit halloween now another Shout out goes to my boy GM Haunts, Griffin Miller. I appreciate you, dude, making videos of, of other stuff and his theories. I love GM Haunts' theories on Pacific stuff. Like, Spirit, when it comes to Spirit Halloween, Griffin Miller, GM Haunts is like the best dude to watch for that stuff. If you want to know a lot about Spirit Halloween and what might be happening, go to him because I think he predicted like most of the stuff like every year since he started YouTube. I think he started predicting like a lot of stuff and he kind of did. And that's actually pretty cool. So if you guys wanted to watch his videos, I'll link him in description as well, along with Elizabeth Pumpkin. So yeah, that's basically it for um, GM Haunts and what he does. Um, so he made a video saying that we might get a teaser from Spirit Halloween on April 29th. And since it's April 19th, it's probably... Um, it's 10 days away from now. I might be posting this on the 20th of April. It might depend on this editing, but, um, I mean, he could be right because he was researching Spirit Halloween's like video, like YouTube channel, the website, I believe, and he cracked the code of like what they do. Now, around the 29th of April was like halfway of Halloween, but I am looking right now on um, the Spirit Halloween YouTube channel, and I believe. Um, I'm not actually looking at it right now. I'm like, I'm trying to get to it. I believe like the halfway to Halloween video they posted was, um, here, let me look real quick. Cause they posted a halfway to Halloween video in April and they posted it. Oh, oh shoot. Yeah. They actually posted it April 29th of 2022. And that was actually halfway to Halloween. I don't know why I was thinking 26th of April. I don't know why. Um, but April 29th is actually halfway to Halloween. And since since last year, they've made a teaser um, showing like what basically what the theme is and showing a little bit of, of an animatronic known as Betty Sharp as we know it. We could get something just like that. Maybe we can get like a little leak of an animatronic, but maybe I hope it'll be like towards the animatronics and not the themes. I mean, the, th the theme was cool last year, but I mean, it was mainly focused on the theme, not the animatronics because it just like had Betty Sharp's audio and like some static stuff and it showed her knife but let's hope we get something different and like I, I just really hope they do something like give like a big reveal like a big tease of what animatronic like maybe having like a split second like like clip of an animatronic that would be pretty cool that's what I would really love to see from spirit now this is how I know that we are getting close to get it, getting a teaser and this is what's getting me hyped up we recently got two videos from Spirit Halloween, and that is a Ghostbusters item 
which is the Ghostbusters life-size proton pack. Now, I'm not really much of a Ghostbusters fan. Yeah, go ahead and make fun of me for that. Um, don't spam me in the comments, please. But I did watch Ghostbusters like a few times, but I'm not a fan of it. I mean, it's a cool movie. It's a great movie. But I mean, I'm just like, don't get into the Ghostbusters stuff. But about a day ago, they posted this video on their channel and there was a bunch of comments saying that oh we are definitely close of getting a teaser for the 2023 season and i'm not gonna lie i don't doubt it i can definitely see us getting a teaser and i really hope we do because they're starting to post now now if you guys go to my channel i recently posted the website video of the crouchy statue um which is actually pretty cool um it really didn't do anything it just showed like the sides of the crouchy statue and like it had crouchy's like laugh in the back um it was pretty cool. I posted it on my channel if you guys want to check it out. Um, but that is actually pretty interesting. And that actually hyped up me the most. Not the Proton Pack, the Crouchy video, the Crouchy Statue video. That is what got me hyped the most. Because I can definitely know by that video, we are so close to getting a teaser. And tomorrow's April 20th. And GM Hunt said that we might be getting a teaser on April 29th, which is halfway to Halloween. So I'm hoping GM Hunt, I, well, should I say Griffin? Miller. I hope Griffin's like theory is true because I would like I, I would really love to get a teaser from Spirit on the 29th of April. That would be so cool. Um and we got like a bunch of other leaks as well. Um like this door knocker from Beetlejuice like that like red lady i don't know what her name is but it's a door knocker a wall plaque or whatever and um it, it just looks pretty cool now like i said i was behind about all the other leaks but i'm mentioning them now i am like very excited like the next thing we get is i hope the next leak we get is like a little clip of an animatronic like a little shot image of an animatronic or mug shot or whatever and i really hope we get like a name of an animatronic i mean i know like we definitely might be getting a jack the reaper animatronic so i could definitely see that happening because you know it's the 40th anniversary and a lot of people would definitely love to see a jack the reaper animatronic now um basically I can definitely see the 40th anniversary being the best year ever. They're making a Jack the Reaper costume and revealing a bunch of other leaks. And forgot to mention, they're making a Texas Chainsaw um, Massacre Leatherface statue. And it looks badass. This is how you know this year for Spirit is going to be amazing. Other companies like Home Depot, Lowe's, Mars Costumes... When their stuff got leaked or revealed the beginning of this year, it had blown us away. Lowe's basically blown it out of the line, and I think Home Depot just blew Lowe's out the line. But who knows what Spirit Halloween is going to do? Like um, Ryan's Han said, Spirit Halloween used to be top tier, but their quality just like went down. Now, when it mentioned the limited, um, not limited edition, um, limited quality stuff happening to the Jack the Reaper animatronic. That's how you know it might be cool, because when it says limited quality, that's definitely good. Like, that's perfect for me. So you could definitely know that Spirit is going to blow all the other companies out of the line because they are trying to go back to top tier. And I feel like with this 40th anniversary, they might as well. I'm very excited for Spirit Halloween 2023. I can't wait to go back to Flagship. I can't wait to meet all you other Haunters again. I had so much fun last year, even though last year really wasn't a good year for me because a lot of family issues and school drama, and which I still deal with. I am very happy that I went to Flagship last year. And I thank all of you guys for being nice. And I hope to see you guys again this year. And I'm excited to. Well, ladies and gentlemen, this has been Wyatt the Scarecrow, the Halloween Haunter, signing out. Peace out.